we're just getting ready because the time has come to go and see Glenfern Sanctuary. Looking at the list of potential birds, there's Parker, Paitiki. I saw Pokotia or Whitehead, and there could be long tailed cuckoo. I'd love to see a long tailed cuckoo because it's a season. Shining cuckoo, this was there. There is also Taiko there, but they'll only come back at night because they're busy fishing at the moment, so they'll only land at night. And yeah, there was a, a good list of birds there. Glenfern Sanctuary was started by a sailor who was disappointed to see waning wildlife, so they bought some land and converted it back to sanctuary, and it's kindly free to go, or you can give a donation to go and walk. So that's what we're going to go do now. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice day. We're anchored yeah. in Port, Port Fitzroy, so it's going to be a short tender ride over, and then we will be free to wander around the pest free um, sanctuary. This is Port Fitzroy, or the one of the bays in Port Fitzroy. There's Olive. Up we go! If you're new here, we're Adam and Vicky, a couple of Kiwis who traded land life for a life afloat and since then have been sailing New Zealand's northern coastline. We're doing a final lap of the Hauraki Gulf before setting sail into new adventures. If you've been following us for a while, then you know that visiting predator-free islands where native flora and fauna can thrive is a real passion of ours. Visiting places such as Territory Maitangi, Rotorua and Motorua are important to us because they show us what New Zealand once was, but they also give us access to some native birds that are no longer found on the mainland New Zealand. These sanctuaries create once in a lifetime experiences. They provide opportunities to have experiences and close encounters with some highly threatened native birds where we can observe their natural behaviours up close, such as digging in the soil, flying through the tree canopy and hearing their songs and calls. If one's fortunate, to have these experiences, one soon realises how much one has been missing out. Like the old saying goes, out of sight, out of mind. But these sanctuaries bring these species in sight and in mind and create lifelong experiences and memories. So, when we heard that Great Barrier had a regional park protected by a predator-proof fence, our eye was on the prize. But what makes this visit even more special and memorable is that we'd be sharing this experience with Garth and Elizabeth, and I was about to see one of a few birds I had been trying to see for several years. Click subscribe and join us on our adventure. Now, let's go and explore Glenfern Sanctuary. Fence. But they're letting in the most dangerous predators. Yeah. The peeps. You go. You guys go. Is that what the idea with this little high moon thing is? Huh? Yeah. It means the animals can't like climb. Okay. There's some pretty gnarly trees here, eh? Look at that pretty cover just there. I know. And it's got all the epi fights in it. Oh! Look at him. How oh, awesome is he? What's that toe got? Look how awesome he is. Yeah, he is, eh? The cock is right here, boo. He's like eight feet from me. <laughs> he doesn't seem too afraid. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, quite, quite calm, eh? Quite, Where's calm. The quite other big, one? aren't they? Yeah, they're strong birds. Where's the other one? It's like ripping off the, the bar. It's yeah. eating the leaves. I've got a good feeling about this. Yeah. That's amazing. It's a good encounter. That's cool, huh? <laughs> yeah. He doesn't seem bothered by us. It's a pair. Yeah. Wow. They seem pretty used to people. <laughs> yeah. In this moment here, this very moment is what visiting these sanctuaries is all about. The palpable excitement from Garth and Elizabeth was so contagious as we experienced a close encounter with two kaka 
and the opportunity to observe their natural behaviours in native forest. Their excitement really made this moment for Adam and me. By bringing this bird back in sight, this sanctuary had created a moment where we all shared what could be a once in a lifetime experience. A moment that I'm sure will be a lifelong memory. As we watched these two kaka, I thought to myself, how could this moment get any better? I was about to find out. If I show you the evidence, you're probably going to tell me it wasn't a shining cookie, so I'm not going to show you. <laughs> It's a big smile. Yeah, just saw a shining cuckoo. There, there it is. It's up there. Is, it, is that the stripey looking one? Yes. <laughs> oh, I've seen him. Gus spotted it. Oh, yeah, come, Elizabeth. Yeah, He's got a worm in his mouth. Yeah, it's pretty unusual. Yeah, to see them. Put together birdies. That zebra on the bottom Very and fluorescent on the top. Do you know how long I've tried to see one of those? Oh, oh there's the parrot again. Yeah, He's coming. Right. He's moving along. He's a real good. We just have to see the long tail cooker now and the, um, what's it called? The one we always want to see. The big Australia, a bitten. <laughs> so, and then we can turn around. Okay, we need to find a wetland for that. What's the one, the ring tailed something, right? So what's that? The ring tailed something. Long tail cooker? Yes. Now aren't we looking for a ringed something? Oh, a, um, you know, the one in the wetland. The banded rail? Banded yes, rail. that's the one. Band, that's the ring, one. all the same. Yeah, it's all <laughs> similar stuff. <laughs> okay, we should keep this closed. Caught behind the Venetian blinds How to reach for the city line this ain't where I belong Ain't looking me more than what I become I've been running least Looking for something Digging deep Since 99 What I thought was gone <laughs> Keep a look out for... Um, I don't know how I feel about a bird-sized walk <laughs> <laughs> Will you scream? He'll flap. <laughs> yeah. It's a good walk, eh? It's easy so far. The track's nice. The temperature's nice too. I know, I was like, okay. say what now? <laughs> I've got PTSD. From Russell? From Russell, <laughs> Just getting through stage two and just commenting about these steps. The locals have gone to great lengths to construct these steps. Each one has a couple of posts holding this riser up and then often they've backfilled it. And there's just hundreds of these things and in fact they're a real feature of this walk so hats off to those people because um it wouldn't have been easy don't look before you leave what you give you get to keep so long farewell bye bye let's have a toast for those lost old eyes What seed is that, Adam? Um, is that a it's a cracker? No, it's a terrari. 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 From this tree here, this one. This is yeah. I mean, great um, food for the wood pigeon. Yeah. Huge. The kaka would match them up. Oh yeah, look. Here's another one. Yeah. <laughs> come to the dreaded steps hey got a bit of PTSD um Okiado to Russell
Quite familiar, eh? Yeah. It's getting us up quickly though. How's your thighs? Bit of a burn going on. Tell me about it. Yeah. They were such well, good steps. So nice. Oh, yep. And as always, take you back down. What's that in front of you, Adam? Is that a leaf? Yeah. It's a Rangiora leaf. Panuka. Panuka? Not the Panuka. It's on the Panics. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. So, Garth, what are your thoughts on this walk? Oh, it's good now the steps are over. Look <laughs> <laughs> at all the cheerfulness. <laughs> yeah, suddenly we've got renewed energy. <laughs> Adam told me I had 50 meters to climb. <laughs> 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 I think it's Elizabeth won't believe in the future. Okay. Well, yes. that's the top up there, right? Definitely. No access. That's what I was measuring on. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm thinking it's the top, isn't it? Okay. Oh, I'm so happy. This is... Sunset yeah. Rock. I wonder what's up there. Oh, track building in progress. Okay, it's not open. <laughs> I'm up to a place called Sunset Rock and what a view! Look at that! Taiko's there and Olive. What a view! coming down the ridge track which is a new track that apparently they've just opened and it's mowing and it's pretty steep pretty steep coming down grassy you have to really watch your footing here that's it Tycho's just out there which is good but really quite steep Yeah, there was an arrow pointing. Yeah. Um, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll sign off here, but look forward to sharing future videos with you. See you later.